In this video, I'm going to 3D print LEGO and see just how good they are compared to the real stuff. LEGO's been burning a hole in my pocket lately, so I kind of want this to work. The only problem is my 3D prints tend to fail, so this might be a little challenging. If I go to thingiverse.com, if I just search LEGO, I'm going to look for some stuff here. This one I thought was sick. I don't know how to, well it actually print this. I want to try it just to see what it'll run like with trains. Where's my regular bricks though? LEGO compatible bricks? They have like every type of brick. I don't know. Oh, there's 33 files. I can choose which ones I want. Okay, that'd be good for regular bricks. Oh, well, this looks like a pretty good design. It just needs to flip the other way. I think I got them. So this is what I did, guys. A 2x4 brick, a 2x4 tile, a 1x2 plate. I found a 1x2 plate file. And then I also did Brick of Death. I made it so the layers are very thin over here. So the Brick of Death can look good. But do you see how long this is going to take? 5 hours and 56 minutes. So hopefully it looks good. So the first print turned out decent, I guess. So the brick of death over here, it is curved up on the edges, which you'll see a pattern here. But you can see there's like holes in the top, which is from the print. And then the two by four brick on the bottom, so this is supposed to come out, but it doesn't come out. But this one was probably the best turning out one, but look at how dark it is on top. All these are darker on the bottom layer because there was a black filament in the 3D printer before the white one, and we didn't clean it out fully. So it's kind of like a gray. Probably have to reprint this one later just to have it pure white. And then the one by two, I mean, it turned out pretty good still can't connect stuff you can see the lines kind of since it's so small so to test the strength of these 3d printed bricks i got a regular brick over here and uh it's kind of loose <laughs> fits in there right but it just has no grip the one by two is pretty loose too yeah the tile the tile actually is secure <laughs> like it stays so the tile must be the best one i know you want to see me step on this so i guess i'll do it at the end of the video let's make a bigger print and make it better okay this is the second one Just trying to fix the problem with the first one got the supports around all the bases i don't know what they're called but if you look at this i have shrek's head and everything here this is gonna be sick if i do just this shrek has a brain guys it's actually printing a brain so pretty sick got all the info and stuff so let's print it so i never actually pressed record not really sure why but the print ended up failing anyways i did take a picture of that it's really bad so after that i kind of gave up for a couple months and did other videos and then i decided maybe i should print it again so here's that and probably exactly what you thought it didn't work you thought I'd give up there, but no, I actually condensed the files down to be just the rail so that it could print easier. And, well, here it is. So this rail had some problems with the first couple layers, but after that, it actually turned out pretty well. Like I can't really see anything wrong with it from the top. It looks pretty nice. And the bottom also looks really good. We got to test this thing out. I got two official Lego tracks. So let's see how each end holds up. It's not even sliding together. Oh, hopefully it doesn't snap, but here we go. Oh, this clip isn't strong on this side. You can see that. But on this side, since it's the official Lego one holding it in, it's strong. Okay, let's try the other side. Same thing, except this one holds in a lot tighter on that side. Yeah, let's let's run a train over it and see how it holds up. One other thing I noticed while putting these together is that this right here kind of like pushes up on the track. Just this side though, not that side. This side's the one with all the problems. But yeah, let's test this. Here we go. So I don't really feel different. I guess it won. I think it does honestly get squeaky on that one actually. I think it only squeaks when it's on that track. I don't I'm not entirely sure, but it sounds like it's coming from that track. That might be annoying, but other than that, it seems to be good. The rails are also really good with Lego bricks. Like if I attach that brick on there and pick it up, it stays. So it's actually really good. So for this next one, I basically took everything else from the print that didn't work, but the train track basically and Shrek's head, because Shrek's head will probably mess up the print most likely. So I'm gonna have to print that one separately. Yeah, so let's try it. So the print decided not to stick to the plate, which became a problem because all of it was piling up around the back, but then eventually stuck and we pulled off the rest of that stuff. So now it's working. This is so annoying. Look at this. I can just peel this off, right? Like it comes off and everything. There's a little lip at the bottom kept from these and it just bothers me so bad. I don't know, it just bothers me. 
So this print turned out really well. The 2x4 brick over here, look at how good it looks. Like the bottom and everything, man, it looks so good. And this, that's just on the super good, just like a regular brick. But if you spin it around, it... Yeah, uh, you can tell, definitely. So the bottom's really good, but the top looks garbage. But the tile, tons better than the last one. It's not gray anymore. Then the stud looks really good, but the bottom is too thin to actually fit on any stud. So that's probably an issue too, but it sounds like stud. So, I mean, that's good. Uh, and then in the tree, it looks basically identical to the actual tree, except it's loose because it's in different parts and you should probably glue it together. And the bottom of this one also stays on bricks pretty well too. I can't even get it on the brick. It fits on the other bricks very well. The other 3D printed bricks. We upgraded the 3D printer. Now it can actually level itself, which makes this a lot easier. Everything in the last print was a success except for the two x four brick. So I found a different file online that'll hopefully work. Let's print it. Well, none of the filament was actually sticking to the plate and it was all getting wrapped up around the nozzle. So we had to replace it. But after we replaced it, it worked just fine. So the two x four brick looks pretty good. All the corners are like straight and everything, but these corners at the bottom are kind of curved up a little bit, just like the first one. And the bottom filament we still can't get out, which you kind of expected because it's either the top or the bottom looks bad. Let's test it with an actual brick. Here we go. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Actually, that is almost like to Lego strength. This one turned out really good. And finally, the best for last, Shrek's head. So Shrek printed pretty good, except the ears have problems because they're so small, but we accidentally broke this one off when taking him off. So he's kind of got like a hanging off ear now, but you can kind of see off this ear how bad they looked. But the actual Shrek looks really good. We did print another one, but there was blue filament in the printer before it. So it kind of turned a little blue at the bottom, but this one does have both ears working, but you can also see on this one how bad those two ears are. I broke Shrek's ear the rest of the way. Guys, I don't think Shrek's okay. His ear is still part of him. Okay, so I grabbed a random like a minifigure torso and let's test Shrek's head out on it. Here we go. Is that as far as it goes? Uh, I think it's meant to go on a stud maybe. Yeah, let me try to put it on a stud because it doesn't seem to fit there. Okay, so I got a cone. So let's test Shrek's head on it. It actually does hold on. I mean, it's not like as strong as a Lego brick, but it's pretty strong. Like you can see like this, it's not even coming off. Technically you could make your own Shrek minifigure with this. So here's all the prints starting from oldest to newest. So up here is the first print, of course. And then the second print was actually the rails, the second print that worked, I should say. And then the third print was all these bad boys down here. And then the fourth print was just the brick. The last one was the Shrek head. So you can kind of see the progression throughout the video, starting off with some bad prints and then getting to a lot finer detail with Shrek heads. It's time to step on the the brick of death. Here we go. So I actually step on it in this video and I'll have that linked in the top right corner. Okay guys, so that's it for the video. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notifications bell.